season indeed, Rob. Thank you. And with that recent consistency, massive part as well, both of these teams can have established squads. We feel Canada really got that. They've got some really good upcoming stars, but it's that next level to take them on performance-wise that they need. Well, Gaston Raval fittingly um. gets us underway. Good tap back from the Argentinians, and they are off and running, attacking the men in red. Tucking under his arm is a sad suit. Revolve shifts it wide. A bit of a high pass, but well gathered by Iskro. Still going, and there is the pace. The danger man slamming it down with the right arm. Marcos Manetta. We've seen number seven for Ireland get his trademark going early. This guy, number 13, Marcos Manetta. A real start of this game. He's got it all, but it's the pace that makes him so separate. Lovely restart, competed well. Argentina, one of the best in that area. Love the kicking game, all decent footballers, but this is just raw speed. Hello, would I be able to get um, Econ um, on my panel, please? Tempo's got it on his, just so I can hear what conversation they're having. Econ Conversion just falls Aaron. short under the bar, but Manetta, your world rugby player of the year in 2021 seventh player of the Thank year you so much. starts this season in incredible form imagine he might clock a few of them by the end of his career we see that is how good he is again a 50 50 kick again won by the argentinians webster putting in a tackle but this possession canada yet to hold the ball and again the pace Finding a hole in that Canadian defense is Luciano Gonzalez. Second try for Argentina. We talk about the guile and effort of Moneta on one side. This guy is a pit bull. Gnarled, aggressive, ferocious. The sidestep here on Teal is a thing to behold. And then the pace as well. There's a couple of wonder tries flying around the rugby circles online from the Gallagher Premiership in the UK. And their sevens players equally as adept. Broken field is a canvas for them to create some pretty special artwork. Conversion this time is good. And Rob, we talked about the importance of the kickoff. Last season, Argentina, the best team on the series, won 34% of their restarts. They were 100% in this game, but so crucial to getting possession. It is, as you can see, it's just relentless. This accuracy of the kick, the claim in the air, they're so hard to get the ball back from, and then when they've got it, as we've already seen, threats right across the pitch. Well, Gaston Revol is the architect of the kickoff possession through his right boot, 35 years young. At 89 tournaments under the belt, just challenging a few of your old mates in Rodwell, the leader for the HSBC World Series, Dan Norton and Phil Nicholson from New Zealand. Yeah, and imagine without COVID situations, well, they'd be up there in the hundreds, wouldn't they? It'd be a centurion of sevens events and there's no reason why the way that Revol is going he might get there as well the Wolverine used to call him it's like a little I say little he is quite small but very much of a dog mentality of course he's he's beaten Phil Mickelson as Tim Mickelson he's yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> chasing he's defected ignore him uh, and he's working the blind side incredible scenes in Vancouver at the Canada sevens their first win on the series in 13 years and Argentina are off and running again, and it's the Canadians who are paying the price, stepping out of the tackle. Great leg lift from Matias Atsu. Third try for Argentina, clinical stop. And when you get the restarts, you get the possessions, you combine that with the power guile of Moneta and Gonzalez, and then throw in a little bit of Atsu, rookie of the year, once upon a time. This guy is flourishing. Very different style, rangy big strider, big runner and you can see why this Argentinian team were one of the most consistent five medals across the year last year they just love possession as I mentioned off the top they were fourth in the series but right up to the last day of action on the HSB series in Los Angeles they had a chance to lift the trophy didn't go their way of course it was the Australians who won last season but so much heart saw the emotion and they won their first event and they have been ruthless here and again they have their hands on the ball Canada can do nothing here they have not held the ball in possession there's a first touch Teal chasing it through trying to make something happen 
for his team. Moneta nudges it back, gives himself time and space, which is a dangerous thing. He went for the chip through. He got a lucky second bounce, and he's off and running. Ishiwood's going to give chase. But Marcos Moneta, one of the many pacemen on the Puma Sevens team, gets the try. Well, some forward from Boss Fisherwood as he claps at Bonetta and fair play to him for running back. But this guy, Marcus Bonetta, started kicking the ball back to his own try line. And such his ability, putting the ball on his foot, learned through hard practice and the tutorage of his coach, one of the best at it, Gomez Cora. He gets in behind and then the pace kicks in. You cannot stop pace in any game of rugby. And this guy's got it in spades. Well, the man from Okotoks, Alberta, made sure he paid for it. Manetta, perhaps lucky on his initial kick, as he said, it bounced up to him. They're going to add two more. So Manetta's getting a bit of a breather after putting two big tries on the board. And Rob, to the, your comment, those are kicks in play when they're attacking kicks. And that one, he got his hands on it. Finally, Canada, through Brock Webster, have their hands on the ball. They need something in the last minute of this first half down 26 points to nil teal the playmaker the talisman squares up big defense from argentina Ishwood loops around it's a pretty versatile player for henry paul team there's brock webster great offload from him a good cover from the pumas through revolt getting right across to the far sideline Canada, the first possession they've had. A crushing tackle from the Hudzuk. And Canada holding on. This half isn't over. Quick hands. Unmarked out wide, but they can't get on the ball. It was Rosetto. Canada's got it. They need something. And Russell's off and running. Alex Russell. The man from Chichester via McGill University. The Redbirds have just made their National University Championship. And Gongo thinks twice about shipping that one out wide. Canada having to work very hard in their own end here. Crucial they get something to end this half. Webster created a hint of an overlap but spilled it forward. <laughs> Sudzuk's got it and this half is not over. Some tired bodies out there. The inside pass to the substitute. He's tripped up. Is it after the kick? Legally? Yes, says our referee. And that will do it. So Ben Brakesby, our referee, has had enough. Alex Russell and the Canadians have barely had their hands on it. Rodrigo Iskro and the Puma 7 are up 26 points to nil over Canada. confidence from Santiago Gomez car man they're blowing a little bit here it's because they've been running in tries the length of the field I think you know that there is they didn't have the ball and when you look at the scoreline you're 26 nil down you had the ball for about 20 seconds of that first half it's relentless but what really makes Argentina fearful is how they are without the ball that desperation that they have with it is equally matched that's why they've been so consistent in their performances, and that's why they're a very settled bunch. It's an iconic stadium starting to fill up. coming here since 1976 to play sevens rugby still the mecca pausing for broadcasters to rejoin 10 seconds nine eight seven six five to broadcasters rejoin four three two one rejoin us here please broadcasters thank you thanks welcome back to the cafe pacific hsbc hong kong sevens we're back it's been three years 
but we're playing sevens again. Canada are in a hole here in their first match of the day. It's Friday evening in Hong Kong. We've already seen Ireland get, for the first match of the day, get a victory. And Argentina very much in command of this one. Canada certainly are in a hole. The shot of light is this restart. They need to get some ball. Demolishing that first half, Argentina were just relentless. Sure about on time. And it's Pellandini. The subs are on now. He's got his hands on it. Running laterally is Gonzalez. Oh, and sitting down, the Canadians just plowing over the top. Webster does just enough to knock it out of his hands. There's genuine fear in the crowd when Gonzalez runs towards them. Like it's a bull in the ring. He's going to try and jump the sides. Look at the intensity in that man's eyes. You know. <laughs> he is intense. Santi in the shade. <laughs> There's a naughty boy step. Yeah, yep. a little bit of a disciplinary issue for him to now be in the background, but he's a curator wherever he is, and he must be sitting back applauding the way that first half went. That is Argentinian head coach Santiago Gomez Cora. Great player and very good coach. Canada coached by another incredible player, Henry Paul. Won the title three times here in Hong Kong. One of the stars of that team, half of the coaches here seem to have played in that England domination in the early 2000s. And Friday and a few others. Canada looking to create something in Gongo. Sorry, that is Josiah Mora who spills it forward. Advantage being played to Argentina. Braga. I'm going to come back for the original knock-on. Again, a very exciting Two player coming on for Argentina now. Argentina. We saw Lozazu, number 12, the rangy runner in Dubai. He ended up in the dream team in his first ever effort. He is another one like Moneta. Young, enthusiastic. I think he's had to be a little bit grounded, which is a polite way of saying reined in a bit. But in terms of attributes of sevens player, this guy is going to be something very special. At 20 years old, six foot four, 91 kg, so he's got the frame. Argentina, of course, had just come off winning the South American Sevens Championship, part of the South American Games. They defeated Chile. Uruguay got the bronze down there. A couple of the youngsters were brought into the team from that effort. Roseto and Devajan. The first taste of the gold medal there. Oh, this is too easy. Argentina wearing down the Canadian defense, working the fringes. Good chase all the way across from the debutante, Cal Sager. But it won't be enough. And another try for Augustin Fraga and Argentina. It's casually strolling back. Just clocked up, what, 60 meters in Hong Kong's sapping turf. And it's the balance he possesses, beats the first one, cruises, and then this little bit of confidence as a look around, gets the old cheeks blowing, and that little subtle change of direction means he can glide in. He knows exactly where the camera is as well, Riti. Well, the guile of this Argentinian oh, team is clear, as we said, it, it, fighting for the title time. right to the end last season. But the pace on display, you mentioned it earlier, there is legit pace in the likes of Iskro, Gonzalez, Moneta, and these youngsters coming up as well. they had a chance to get that kickoff they took their 30 second time we heard the gong not that it's going to really matter in this one long kick he's overcooked it Canada will have possession midfield that's way out a little bit of indecision as to what was happening Revol went off then came back on and by that time wasn't able to get his hands on the ball for the kick so hopefully see a little bit of Canadian possession because this is an absolute pummeling. Yeah, it's been not been good. Argentina did win by 21 last year at the London Sevens at Twickenham. But Canada were able to upset them in Toulouse, so they can beat this side. And as we said off the top, it's a Canadian side after wholesale changes post-Olympics that have a year of experience under their belt. And Henry Paul will be expecting more than this from them. He will, and I think that was always the look we kind of saw on the sideline, that it was a spirited performance by Canada, but it was the head down, head shake, because just not quite 
stepping up that level I mentioned about how similar these two teams play they do in terms of their traits but that ability that this Argentina have just puts them way ahead the, the foundation for Canada is their effort levels they put in but when they don't have the ball they're looking frail defensively last year they were exposed and it's been the same again in this game not able to stop the significant firepower of the Argentinians they're not the best preparation for Henry Paul as some of his players were away on 15's duty down in Brazil playing against Chile and Brazil many of their players doing double duty Brock Webster Josiah Mora amongst them that's a good tackle from Cal Sager kind of not securing possession there's a tackle finally some physical presence from the Canadians but still threatening going out wide Tomas Lizazu it's just brilliant to see his all arms and legs he's so long and rangy but this stride that he's got it's a one-on-one -on -one. it's difficult to stop him just check out how fast he changes direction and by the time the stop start happens not a finger's laid on him Sega can't go anywhere near him eight foot long arms Reese. <laughs> get away and a little bit of a gesture here Matawuro put in a massive tackle for Canada, but Iskra was barely phased and he's kept the play alive. And that man got a big try. The baby face assassin. <laughs> so last minute of play, it's been all Argentina, literally. Canada hoping to start a big weekend here. Of course, Canada's women play against England. And finally, a moment for Canada. They're off. Backing himself. Going hard is David Richard. Good to see him back from injury. But Awuru has been pushed into touch. First real incursion for Canada. Well, first effort from Canada. And it looked for all money with a naked eye that that was a bit of wizardry. We saw a bit from Brock Webster, Webster last year. He had some nice touches. But this break... David Richard gets in behind, tries to keep that ball alive because he knows the touchline's coming and throws it out the oh. right blind, right in the gut. Set piece, line out's not straight, mercifully for Canada. What a shame it comes to that. If you threw one of those offloads, <laughs> you just want to bask in it for a while, wouldn't you? The gone sounds and that core of Argentinians has done a solid job here on Friday night in Hong Kong. Moneta started us off in fine fashion. Rizzoni and the rest of the group kept relentless pressure on this Canadian team. Brock Webster, one of those players who does double duty for head coach Kingsley Jones' 15 side. Also with the Toronto Arrows of the Major League Rugby. Played five games last season. He's going to tap it, and this is really about pride and possibly something Matawuru falls on his back and he's stripped, and that will happen at this level. So it's all Argentina. 